jam-packed day full of ton of information to help all of you grow your Amazon business. Relationship opportunities. Right, this is, this is one of the most important topics we're gonna to cover today because the relationships are so important. Right, that's why we're so transparent on social media. I literally wanna know all of you. That's why we hosted this completely free event. I got a quick question. Who would have paid $100 to come to this event? Show of hands. Awesome, fantastic, right? Who would have paid $200 to come to this event? Show your hands. All right, some hand drop. Who would have paid $300? <laughs> Who would have paid $10,000 to come to this event? Nobody? Oh, we got some people, these guys. Awesome, right? So relationships, but we host this shit for free because we want to get everybody together. You know, Carlos was nice enough to allow us to house this here, and we are like, you know what? Let's just make this magic happen. And this came from a relationship. You know, two years ago, I came down to Fort Lauderdale for a wedding for my cousin, and I was, you know, just hanging out, small Instagram following then, and I just did a little sticker on my story, like, hey, any Amazon sellers want to hang out? I was bored. So Gabe, right, one of the coordinators here, Gabe was like, I'll come. So he drove from Miami, he lives down here, came up to Fort Lauderdale, we went out to eat, we chilled, we talked, he's been in e-commerce for 17 years, we're just talking shop, talking about our business, his business, this business, that business, and then all of a sudden, my brother calls me, because he was down here with me, he's like, hey, E, we're going out with the whole entire wedding, like the whole party, the, you know, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids, and we're going to go party, like, I was like, Gabe, you want to roll with us? You know, and that first night, hanging out with Gabe, you met my entire family, and we partied till five in the morning, you know, and then he came up to New York City, and then he introduced me to Carlos, and about what, six months ago, we jumped on a phone call, me and yeah, me, Carlos, and Gabe, and, and Carlos was super, you know, friendly, and I liked him. I just get that vibe, you know? A lot of you get that feeling when you meet somebody, and you're just like, I like this person. And I got that vibe with Carlos, and we talked through Zoom, and he was just like, hey, if you ever need anything, and you come to Miami, let me know. You know, and then ASD, a bunch of our members of our mentoring program, they were talking about coming to Orlando, ASD, and it just all clicked, right? So this event started, this happened two years ago, on a, on a Saturday night which is two Amazon sellers talking shop. You know, so the relationships are key. You get longer net terms. Who likes net terms here? I love net terms. Right, getting inventory on consignment, not having to pay for it. What else do you get, Sebastian, with great relationships? Better pricing? You, you get other suppliers. Believe it or not, when you build your relationships further, the suppliers you're working with will provide you with other suppliers. They'll say, oh, did you know so-and-so? You might, you might want to reach out to them. They, they have a lot of different products we know you, you sell anything that's profitable, why don't you reach out to them, tell them I, I told you to give them a call. And we've built phenomenal relationships that way. Yeah. So when you build relationships with these suppliers, you get first access to new inventory, right? You wanna be on speed dial when that supplier gets that new head and shoulder shampoo that everybody wants. Or you wanna be on speed dial. Yo, E, I got 500 units of this. It's like, I'll take them all, ship them to me today. You know, you also want more product selection. Every supplier's got the secret catalog that they ain't sharing with you. I'll tell you that 100%. Right? How many people have done business with the supplier and the more business you do with them, the more opportunity presents itself? Show a hand, say aye. 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 Awesome, right? There's relationships. I operate my business the same way. If you send me a DM on Instagram and I've never talked to you before and you send me a four paragraph essay of a question, I probably just might be like, yes, no. Right, but if I meet you out here and then you send me DMs for the past year and then you, you schedule a call with us or you join our course, like I'll answer anything because it's the relationship. Extended net terms, right? That's phenomenal too. Net 30, net 45, net 14. Anybody don't know what net terms is? We can explain that real quick. All right, so net terms essentially means that you get inventory loaned to you for a period of time and you don't have to pay it back until that period of time reaches. So let's say a net 30, right? We'll do a net 30. It means that the inventory is received by you today and you don't have to pay for it for 30 days. The best type of net is anything above, 30 is phenomenal, right? A lot of distributors will give you 30 over time, correct Sebastian? Yeah, 30, 30 is typically the max. Par for the course. Yeah. But once in a while you get a 45 or even a 60, which is even more impressive. Who, anybody have more than net 30 in you? This guy does. What's your net? I got a net 60. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's phenomenal. Well, right? So, so. Yeah. Best, best supplier, right? Awesome. And how long have you been doing business with them? What's your name first? Javier. Javier. How long have you been doing business with them? For more than two years. 
Okay. And how long did it take for you to get that net 60? Almost two years. And how much money did you have to spend with that? Approximately. I don't need exactly. Um, I mean, like 50,000, 100,000? I'm spending at least 100,000 a month. 100,000 a month. So you're doing $1.2 million in purchases a year from them. Right? So it didn't happen. You didn't just wake up one day and they're like, hey, I'm going to loan you. You know, what's your term? What money value? 50,000, 100,000? What's the max? Or they don't care. You can for, go. For them? Yeah, yeah. For the, yeah, like, them, I mean, it's just whatever. You can get whatever and pay it back. Amazing. That's a great relationship to have. Most of the times, like, on those two months, I'm already making new orders. So yes. I try to pay the pay, latest yes. first and then yeah. get, like, a new net 60 on the awesome. last one and keep running that. Awesome, Javier. Thank you so much for sharing that. Right? So, essentially, the vendor loans you inventory for 30 days. And by the time you have to pay them back, you're making money off the, the inventory that they loaned you. And you're paying them back with the money that you're making off the inventory they loaned you. And you... It's just you repeat that process. So really, you don't got to go take out a loan initially or, you know, Amazon lending, which are all great opportunities, but first capitalize on net terms. And Sebastian just touched on other suppliers. Who's seen this picture before? I posted it a bunch, right? So this is one of the relationships. I'll go brief over this, right? But this is one of the relationships we built. It took us a very long time to build this relationship. We no longer do business with this company. That's why I'm comfortable sharing it with everyone. Uh, but we did business with them for about two years. Um, it turned into a multi-million dollar Amazon brand for us every single year. And this is, a, this is one shipment. We would get these shipments every two weeks, right? And this stemmed from a relationship with this guy, Ian who worked as an account rep for this company. And I saw him at trade shows. I'd see him at trade shows all the time. And I'd walk up to him and I'd be like, hey, Ian, I really like your wisp. They're phenomenal. Who's ever had cheddar wisp in here? Anybody? Oh, you got to get some. Go on Amazon, buy them. Um, <laughs> I don't sell them anymore, so it's not a shameless plug, right? But um, how many times did we see Ian before? It, it took like maybe six to eight months to close this deal. It might have been a couple, a couple different trade shows, for sure. For yeah. sure. So I see Ian all the time and be like, hey, Ian, it's E. Like, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm super excited. I love your cheddar wisps and your bacon wisps and your Asiago wisps. They're amazing. I want to be the guy to sell them. Let me sell them. Me, Ian, please. And he'd be like, E, we're not really ready for this. And then I just finessed him and kept seeing him at trade shows. Finally. And he's like, all right, Eric, place your first order. I was like, all right, I'll try like six, seven pallets, you know, just give it a test. Sold them all in like three days. Next week, truckload. Next week, truckload. Next week, truckload. And we continued to do that for 18, 24 months. It was crazy. It was the first relationship we really built like that. And it, it just let us show that. So you get a few amazing SKUs in your catalog. It's like, holy shit. It just happens. It's crazy. The opportunity that exists here. Sebastian, talk about this relationship for us. This is Sebastian right here. In, in, in front of five pallets of... That, what that was that? a full truckload of toilet paper. A full truckload of toilet paper. Truckload of toilet that, paper. Was March, that was March last year. This is a... Uh, supplier we've worked with six years five years yeah yeah so this is a supplier we've worked with now for about six years and in the beginning of the pandemic and a little bit after when everyone was running out of products we were able to continue to provide the service of all the essentials that were needed mm. i mean if you guys follow us on ig you saw the the truckloads we were bringing in of canned goods the truckloads of toilet paper we were bringing in and it was essentially almost all from this one supplier that we work yeah. with. And back to Eric's story of the Wisps. Even now that Wisps is actually selling it themselves, if we continue that relationship, just a couple hellos and, you know, Eric's still communicating with Ian. And the reason for that is there's no permanent no. Mm. There's no such thing as a permanent no. Environments change. People change. Companies bring in new people. Mm. There's no such thing as a permanent no. And even if we never sell Wisps again, I guarantee there'll be another product Ian will bring up to us eventually where we'll be selling and capitalize on because we keep that relationship open. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, I still see them at trade shows today. And, and who's ever been to a trade show here? You know how they give out samples, right? And there's this, Megan and Stephanie, they're like the two women who travel the country and try pushing chats and Wisps on anybody. And like, we joke now and it's like, no, I don't want any samples until I can sell your product again, you know? So like, don't give me anything. Like, I don't want to taste them, I don't want to look at them, but if I'll sell them, give me, give me all of them, you know? So we joke now and it's like a friendly, cordial relationship. And that's cool because that means there's growth opportunity in the future, but Sebastian, when he placed this order, this was like, what, February? We maybe? just got back from Cali. We yeah, just got back there. from Cali. It was like March 10th, 11th. Oh yeah, it was March. So this is like right when COVID struck. Sebastian and I, we were literally, in the office, 
till three in the morning placing like the biggest orders we've ever placed. We were screaming through the wall at each other. Like, no way, we're gonna get 2,000 of this. And he's like, no way, we're getting 5,000 of this. It was so exciting. We did that for a week straight. Literally worked for like 18, 19 hours a day. And it was because of the ship that we were able to do that. And another fun fact is that was our best month ever. You know what our, our new best month ever is? March. March of 2021, last month. Yeah. was our best month ever at Amazon. So it just goes to show all of you that there's so much opportunity. This wasn't a COVID coincidence, a coincidence. It's, it wasn't that. <laughs> Strong. You know? Strong. Uh, th let me just jump back real quick to what Eric was talking about, uh, us screaming through the wall. Now, now you've gotten to know Eric, and you, or you probably already know, you're getting to know me a little bit. So I'm not the loud energy type until Eric walks in the room and then I feel it. So. We both have our offices right next to each other. There's a wall between us. So normal businesses would have an intercom. We do. But for some reason, Eric loves screaming at me through the wall. So I do the same thing all day long. And employees are always looking at us, or coming into our office, wondering why we're doing that. Because everyone else is using the intercom system we have. But me and Eric all day long are just screaming at each other. Should I get this ASIN? Should I get that ASIN? So that was going on that whole night until I couldn't, I couldn't even feel my throat. It's like this event where we just kept going back and forth. Not once, because of his energy, did I think about using the, the intercom that was right next to me. Yeah, it's fun times, yeah. fun times. Yeah. 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 All right, what do we got next here? We got the four Ps. The four Ps.